How many times have you downloaded the same piece of stock footage? How much time do you waste getting lost in your project panel? Well, fret no longer because in this video, I'm going to share with you five little known organizational tips that will save you from downloading tons of repeat stock footage clips, save you hours of mindless scrolling through your project panel and save your precious hard drive space from downloading repeat clips of man working on laptop version 16. And make sure to stick around for number five because I cannot believe it took me years before I worked this one out. I am so guilty of downloading the same stock footage clip over and over again, especially when I'm working on a huge client like a VSL with hundreds of stock footage clips. Here's a little hack that I learned to not only save me time from downloading repeat clips, but helps me make every video faster and better, which ultimately means more profit. So suppose I've got a client project in the credit repair niche. Instead of starting editing, hearing the word credit, going to art list, downloading the clip and dragging it in, only to repeat that again and again what I'll do is I'll go to art list download five to ten clips under credit head over to another site like Pexels or Vecteasy download another five to ten clips from each then I'll go to my downloads folder grab all those clips Control X to cut and paste them into a new folder labeled credit in my stock footage folder. Now I'll drag that folder into the Premiere Pro bin and I can easily scan through 30 clips as I work through the video. The great thing about this is over time I'm building libraries of stock footage clips so that in every video I make, now next time I have something in credit or finance, I can just drag that folder into my video and they're all there ready to use. Saves you tons of space, save you tons of time. Let's get into tip number two. So now we're in our project panel which is very organized and tidy, here's something I overlook for the longest time. So when I'm looking through my project panel bins or audio tracks or basically anything that doesn't need to be previewed, I click this button to keep it in the list view, then when I click into my previewable clips like stock footage, A roll or B roll, I change this gallery view. This means at a glance I can easily see all my sequences and folders, but when I click into these folders I can preview my footage and graphics. You can even scrub through the footage in real time in this gallery view and Premiere Pro remembers the view that you've selected so that you can seamlessly switch back and forth which saves time and makes life much more convenient. By the way I get all my stock footage, music and sound effects from Artlist and you can get two months free by hitting the link in the description. Let's get into tip number three. So recently I had a client who sent me two terabytes of footage, so interviews, b-roll, warehouse meetings, podcasts, all that sort of stuff. And when you're working through that amount of footage, you really have to have a solid way of looking through it all, finding and organizing the best clips and not wasting your time looking through the same stuff twice. So here's how it's done. First off, organize all your footage into bins. So in this example, I have an A-roll bin, which then has bins for various A-roll that is warehouse, meeting, podcasts, and interviews. Now I'll grab all the files in this one bin, right click and select create a new sequence from clips. Now all those clips are laid out in a nice sequence. I'll rename the sequence appropriately. For example, warehouse selects, and make sure to drag that sequence back into the sequences folder. Then I'll scrub through, find the shots I like, make little cuts and I'll drag them up in the timeline and this makes it really easy to go back and find my favorite shots and if I really like them then I'll take them up to the third track or label them a different color. Now when I finally get to my main edit I can quickly go into my various sequences and drag those clips down into my main sequence. By the way to get two timelines just do this. But did you know about the search bin feature? Well you do now because this is tip number four. So what if you're already working on a project and it's an absolute mess? Well check this out. Right click in the project panel and click search bin. You can now select the metadata type and put in your keyword. The metadata types for video are usually movie and video while images are still image but you could just use image. So if we put movie and video, when we click done, we'll have a bin with all the media of that type. Just rename the bin and you've just saved yourself hours of getting lost, scrubbing through a messy project panel. Just before we get into the final tip guys, this video isn't sponsored by anyone, but if you want to support me and you want to level up your video editing, 
why not go get two months free and learn with me on Skillshare? I've got tons of courses on there that any freelancer or video editor should check out. You can create the perfect Fiverr gig that actually sells, which I consider my favorite course. The marketing and sales strategies I teach in this course are what got me to top seller in just two years from zero experience, and I've got students getting amazing results in there. Or if you wanna learn After Effects inside out, check out the After Effects Crash Course for Creatives. If you wanna get better at editing videos, check out the social media masterclass there's something in there for everyone not only that but you get access to all the other amazing courses on the platform and you can get a month free right now by hitting the link in the description but not before we get into pro tip number five setting in and out points I'm almost embarrassed to say that I used to drag my footage into the timeline at the end to scrub through and find parts that I want and then awkwardly drag them back in don't do that don't be like me Instead, what you do is double click on your footage in the project panel and go up to the source footage monitor. Now you can scrub through, press I to select your in point and press O to select your out point. And now click and drag the video to drag this selection into your timeline. Or if you wanna just drag footage, just drag this icon. And if you just wanna drag the audio, drag this icon. Oh, go on then, here's one more final tip. Have you ever deleted footage above your audio or deleted the audio for a clip and you can't undo to get it back? I have. Just click your audio footage, go up to sequence and select match frame. You're welcome. So those tips are all great, but how do you get clients to make money from your videos? Well, you might want to check out this video up here. Thanks for watching.